Chris? Instagram post on Velma Santos? Wrong spelling and grammar went viral. Intentional or not, the damage has been done. An Instagram post of Copanlia host and actress Chris Aquino went viral online for the past few days after some netizens noted that there's a wrong spelling in the post of Chris Aquino. The Queen of all media Chris Aquino posted a photo of Vilma Santos. Dedication to her, but netizens reacted with the wrong spelling made by the governor of Batangas. Netizens online grammar police started to bash the actress politician on supposed wrong spelling truly and grammar you are truly bless. Instead of taking the situation badly, Vilma sent Chris a message saying she will rather make it as a way to improve herself. Her text message states, Hi Chris. I am being bashed because of your Instagram post. Ha. Huh. I guess Murami para kung dapat machuchunan. I take all of these as constructive criticisms. Tao Leng, Nikikamali. Samga bashers? Salamat po? Some netizens defended Vilma Santos mistakes, while other netizens bashed the governor for her mistake. In a separate post, Chris in an exchanges of text messages with Vilma, apologize to the governor, which reads, I'm sorry 8 vi. I didn't e think about the wrong spelling, because what matters to me was your kindness and the thought behind the card. Some netizens defended Vilma Santos' mistakes, while other netizens bashed the governor for her mistake. The 43-year-old Chris Aquino is one of the most followed celebrity on Instagram with more than 1 million followers. A single post from the TV host and actress will surely be seen by her followers. The issue of wrong spelling or wrong grammar bashing is common in the Philippines, as what other netizens noted, Filipinos always tend to correct someone who are not well versed in the English language. Bashing of grammars or wrong spellings among Filipinos will not help our economy, but can cause division among netizens.